We are going to be having a very interesting conversation. If you're a parent or a caregiver who is taking care of children, uh, I think this is the time for you to listen and pay pretty much attention to the conversation we are going to have. Increase the volume to the a very reasonable, uh, I mean, sound that you can hear and then pick a thing or two. Joining us in the studio right now, we are going to be talking about food marketing and then its health impacts on children. We have Percival. Agodo, who is the Vice President of the Ghana Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, a lead GANS HD4HL project committee. Good morning, Percival. Good morning. Nicole. How are you doing? Excellent. How was your uh, morning coming here? It's a rainy morning, by yes, the way. Yes, the, the I had a, a good shower on the journey. Mm. And, I mean, it was a beautiful experience. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, the rain is, is blessings. Yes. So the showers are a good thing to experience. Of well, some of us love rain and some people <laughs> don't really like rain because of obvious, the obvious, you know, uh, flood that it comes with sometimes. Unfortunately. Yes. Maybe we hope that our cities will be planned better. We mm. hope yeah. so. Yeah. Now, let's get straight into the conversation. Yeah. The day-to-day -day consumption of food by children mm. is very important. That's more true. so we need to make sure that we are giving our children the right proportion of food the right proportion of everything they need to make them grow and grow healthy That's true. now tell us what is food marketing okay so um, food marketing is just a beautiful phrase that simply means how we package and introduce foods to children or to, in other words how we promote the foods mm. So it includes adverts on TV, on mm -hmm. radio, billboards, posters, campaigns, food campaigns, anything we do basically to ensure that people get to know the foods that are available in the, in the market, mm. in the industry, for people to purchase and, and consume. Mm -hmm. Those are all part of food marketing. Yeah, yes. so how does it actually um, influence a child's choice of food and eating habits? So that's a very interesting question. So you see, children are a very interesting group of people. Mm -hmm. Now, we, they learn by experience, they learn by watching, they learn by the things we do around them, the things they see. So if, it, for example, you show a t a, a, an advert on TV, or they see a billboard that says, this is the, a very good food, this is a very nice food, it begins to condition their minds and begin to say, oh, okay, this is, this is what I want. Noodles is a very good mm -hmm. example. I yeah. don't want to mention mm -hmm. the brand yeah, names. Yeah, obviously. But, <laughs> but you know that just the advert alone, and the kids like, "Mommy, I want, I want mm -hmm, this, mm -hmm, I want this mm -hmm, type mm -hmm. of noodles." And by the time they continue to consume much of those things, over time, we can we can expect that, unfortunately, most of the foods that we are, we have on our systems now have three things that the, the world of organization considers quite unhealthy, mm -hmm. which is fats, yeah. mm -hmm. which is salt, and free sugars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that we get advertised on, on, on yes. most red, most companies mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. these foods that are, are very high in these three things. And so if you have children consuming this on a regular basis, and, and mind you, uh, in recent time, kids go to school and they say they are going to school with snacks. Mm -hmm. And once the what child thinks snacks, snacks yeah. mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. you know what the child is thinking yes. about. It's a juice with which has biscuits. some sugar in it and some confectionaries. Mm -hmm. And but these are the things that they see on on on, on, on telly, yeah. Sometimes telly, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and sometimes on radio. And then other than a fruit or yeah. or the traditional Yeah, something very healthy. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So the condition of their minds makes the kids very vulnerable to eating some of these foods. And over time, they begin to go to, to gain weight than they should normally mm. have. And you know, as parents, we get excited. My child is... Big. Going big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a sign of good life. Mm. I like that phrase. It's a sign of being healthy. Mm. Mm. We are taking very good care of, right, the, of yeah. the kids. And that is how yeah, this is going to affect them. So obesity in children is now on the, on the rise. And, and that is where the challenge is for us. And with obesity comes other non-communicable diseases. Mm. So hypertension... They can develop diabetes mm -hmm. in later life, yeah. and they can they can have all these cancer-related um, diseases. So all these are the, the implication of these on on the life of a, of a child. Now, as a parent or a caregiver, mm -hmm. if you are you want to promote or encourage healthy eating in your child to make the child healthy, grow well, and then grow very strong, mm -hmm. how do you introduce or how do you go about it? Because for a child, they go to school, they mm -hmm. see their friends eating sweets, eating all sorts of things, but mm. you as a parent, you want your child to take a certain path, to mm. 
to take mm. a, to, to, to stick to a setting line of eating. Mm -hmm. How do you encourage that? Okay, so, so, so first off, as a parent, you must know what is healthy eating, mm. what is healthy in the first place. Mm. So being educated to the point, being nutritionally I mean, literate is the first step as a parent. Mm. So you yourself must know that, oh, this is the kind of foods that I want my child to consume and this is healthy for them. Now, after that, what, so I can just say that some of the things we can do is to encourage our children. We promote, for example, you, you involve them in meal planning. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you are going to cook a meal, you involve the child, mm. they, 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 they can come, I mean, suggest a meal, and then use that, those meal times or even eating times or cooking times to teach them about healthy food options. Mm. Oh, so when you want to prepare this meal, Oh, don't know. This ingredient is, is much healthy. So the children, you are, are grooming the child. So you are transferring your knowledge to the child. Mm. And also, you have to make the meal time pleasant. Mm -hmm. I mean, you shouldn't use meals, food to punish your child, for mm. example. So you, the child is, I won't give you a food, food to eat because you have done yeah. something. And th that creates um, some kind of emotional detachment for, for the mm -hmm. children. And so when time is meal time, they may not really connect with yeah. you. But if you're able to make the meal time a pleasant experience, yes, then the child is happy. So, it, so, so this is food, this is, um, mm. this is pear, these are the ingredients, uh, these are the nutrients in it. This is um, a cabbage, this is carrot, yeah. this mm -hmm. is contumery, this is, it doesn't have to be the, the foreign vegetables mm. and fruits only. The local vegetables and fruits are equally good. This is okra, this is, this is onions. So you teach them along the line and so then after that you actually encourage them also to 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 eat these ones and to carry them along to school and the challenge now is that we want to reinforce that that those trainings on a day by day experience for them but then when they are going to school i know a parent told me once i i i i, I give my children fruits to school but when the child gets to the school all her classmates have Juice. Yeah, juice or something. Box. Or carbonated yeah. drinks. So now, or drinks. Yes. how can schools actually um, contribute to promoting healthier food um, choices among the children? I know some schools already do, but mm. how will other schools now, you know, um, follow through and do the same? So with regulation, really. Mm. So sometimes we, individual schools can are doing their best. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have fruit days, for example. Yeah. You go to the school and there's a day in the week the children are encouraged to bring fruits along. True. But then that doesn't really stop anybody from, from taking the fruits mm. or the vegetables. But you know, if, there's a, if, if there is a regulation, I mean, that's what we're actually pushing for, regulating that schools should encourage that every child should have a, a, a healthy food, healthier food options in school. And for example, we shouldn't have um, adverts around the schools because food marketing um, companies actually target these sure. schools. Sure. Yeah. You see billboards close to where you yeah. find a lot of, mm -hmm. of, of I mean, school children around. But the idea is for them, for them to see it. The more they see, the, the more they are yearning for those things. Mm. So we should have regulation against having these billboards in such settings. Oh. And have schools also enforce that people do not I mean, perform or advertise unhealthy foods. And, this, and we are talking of three particular ingredients. Foods that are high in fats, high in salt, and high in, in free sugar. Right. Now, but, talking about yeah. um, rules and regulations, mm. are there any currently, are there any policies? And if not, your organization, Ghana Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, what or how are you looking at uh, enforcing these policies or regulations? Okay, so that's a very important question. Now, the WHO has, only last year, 2023, published a, a set of policies and recommendations that countries are supposed to um, look into and adopt and implement. So we are, we as an academy are encouraging the states to also consider those policies and make the rules. There are some, I mean, to be fair to our, our mm. policy maker, there are some. For example, we have rules on alcohol advertisement. You right. cannot advertise alcohol at mm. a certain time. Yeah. At a certain mm -hmm. time of the day, which is good. But it's not just alcohol that is the problem. Alcohol is, is food also, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there's no alcoholic products like the sugary drinks, like the the fatty foods, like the um, fast foods. You know, you have these fast right. food companies. There's a lot of adverts. In you see, let me just add this in before I move on. So kids currently social media. Yes. We, we allow the, the, the kids to have screen time. Screen time. The, 
they, they stream um, ads on videos on they YouTube. They watch a few yes. minutes, then there's an ad. Mm. And the ad is more about mm. the kids experiencing these, these um, unhealthy food options. So there should be regulation against how these things are marketed. You shouldn't just allow children to be exposed to, to such um, adverts. At least not, I, I think there should be some regulation, not in the, the time that the child is active. Maybe later in the night when they are asleep, you can advertise. Yeah, perhaps. but you know, that would be a very tricky one because mm. the digital space is actually very hard to control, mm. um, especially for the fact that most kids here in Africa are not even on African platforms. They are on foreign platforms. And all advertisements are all on the foreign platforms. Mm -hmm. So agree. how will that be possible? Would you say it has to be on, on, on the parent right now? Because so, the digital space is very hard to control. And there are kids are always, hey, hey mommy, time, mommy, yeah. I want my tablet. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, and the I ads mean, just pop up. Yes. So how are we going to control that now? So, so there are different levels of control. Mm -hmm. As a parent, you should, you okay. should be conscious okay. about what your child is, is watching. Is watching. Mm -hmm. yes. So you put, that's how you call them, is it parental control? Yeah, parental control. Yeah, parental yes. parental. So you, you want to ensure that your, in fact, mm -hmm. I recommend that your children shouldn't spend more than three hours screen time, time. Yeah. in a day. Yeah. So you, so you should you spread that out such that it doesn't, that you, can, you can monitor what the child is actually watching. Mm -hmm. That is at the parental level. But you can also teach your children to identify um, things they shouldn't, uh, like f adverts, and criticize them. Mm. It, the kids today are so smart. Yes, eh? yes they are. I mean, the kind of things they learn, they learn on, on these phones are mm -hmm. really amazing. Mm -hmm. The kind of questions they can ask you, you have to really be attentive and think through it carefully. So empower them to, to use that skill to criticize the, the adverts they see and, then, mm -hmm. and, and see what is the advert seeking to sell to them. So that's one way of, at a personal level. But at the state level, the state is quite a powerful organization. Mm -hmm. the, the government can, of Ghana can decide that they can, they can set a rule, you cannot advertise so and so and so on, on, at this time of the day mm -hmm. to children. Mm -hmm. Even if, so at least, so, you, so, you, so then we, the parents, can now be rest assured that even if my child is, is using the device at this time of the day, at least there's a state's rule which is strictly enforced. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's the, one of the weak, the weak points for, mm -hmm. for our regulations. If it's strictly enforced, then we can be rest assured that around those times, our children are not mm. going to Watching, be exposed yes. to those, those things. Those right. are some of the suggestions. So have you thought of public health campaigns? That's exactly what we are doing. Mm -hmm. and that's what the healthier diet for healthy living is also about. Oh, yeah. Healthier From, diet for oh, healthy living. Yeah, exactly. So, so that, the that's HD, the campaign. Yes. Healthier HD diet for health for HL. Okay. HL project. That is what it's about. Mm -hmm. and so all this conversation is part of that mm -hmm. campaign to, right. to bring the public to the awareness mm -hmm. that, look, our food marketing is, is, a, is a challenge in itself. It introduces our children to the risks of, of, so many of, diseases, of yeah. seeing those three mm -hmm. killers. High fat, high salt, high uh, sugar, sugar. Mm -hmm. and then we want to ensure that we can do something about it. At least awareness. Parents should be aware. If the kids who are watching me today should also listen mm. and, and begin to be conscious, because of course their parents are empowering them. And then if together at the school level, at the parents level, and at the state level, and even at the professional level, we are all doing our bit. We will be reinforcing the same information and. We can expect that the food market can, can get some regulation that will help our children. What's the campaign strategy like? Is it like a, um, a school tour? Is it a media round? What's the strategy? So a, a series of that. Mm. A series of that. So currently, I'm here, raising awareness of food marketing as a challenge to the unhealthy food environment. Mm. And so the food environment is what gives people the. the is what people. Uh, let me say that again. Is what people see to decide okay this is available to us this is available this is not available so people feel it's, it's sometimes a perception people feel that what they see around is what is all there is to to mm. it but we also want to encourage that there is more to the food we see around us there is actually healthier local options mm -hmm. sadly sometimes i i'm saying this very carefully i can understand the media role in in this where you want to advertise you want you need to make we have to run the stations, I understand that. Yeah. But then at the same time, people, we, we, we may be doing that to the detriment of the healthy food options. So you can, you can see very few adverts 
promoting healthy foods. No, but have you ever thought of working with the businesses? Those businesses. Have you ever said, okay, there should be a way of um, putting out um, healthier options out there? That is, uh, haven't you we, thought we, of that? We are doing that. Okay. We, are, we are engaging. Okay. And I'm happy to say that City TV is, is, a, is, a, is partnering, mm. has done that with this, with this uh, I mean, engagement. It's right. helping, supporting the process. We, we need to get the message across. It's, it's a behavior change conversation. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't fin um, end with just one yeah. event. It's a series of actions. Right. Yes. All right. Your final words before we call it, I mean, a day on you. Your final words to parents, to stakeholders, individuals watching, anything about food marketing and how children should eat healthy. Yes. So our children need to eat healthy mm -hmm. because they are the future of our, 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 our country. And to ensure that our children have the right nutrition, we should ensure that the food that gets to them is, is, is correct, has the right amount of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and has less of the... Of the saturated fats, the uh, salt and uh, sodium, mm. and, and, and the free sugars. But to do that, we have to be conscious about how food is marketed to our children. Mm. And as parents, we should, be, we should take that responsibility up and ensure that we teach our children how to identify um, some of these unhealthy food options, which is, which is available in the media space, in the food environment mm. around us. And as a state, we should also go beyond that and regulate the space because regulation is, a, is one of the key ways which research has shown is, right. can help. So we actually have a message for you. Um, yes. Hello, Jifa and Chris. My child is five years old and he struggles to eat at home, but he prefers to take just snacks. I know it may not be related, but what do I do, Leslie from Dan Soman? So Leslie, if your child takes just snacks, I think that's a good point to start from. So what, what snacks is that child taking? So can we, can we work around the snacks? For example, if you see the child wants maybe a juice in a box, mm. is it possible or in a bottle? Is it possible for you to produce a healthier option and mm. present it the same way? Mm -hmm. So those are just one, one way of going around it. So let's. But then, if you really need help for this five-year-old child, I think you should see and consult a professional. Yeah. And dietitians are, are available. We can always give you specific advice for that. On that note, how do people reach out to you for consultation? Okay, so the Ghana Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is the body that um, represents all dietitians and nutritionists in Ghana. Okay. Um, you can reach us in, I mean, on our um, social media platforms, mm. Gantt Online, and you can also reach us um, my, I mean, in our private numbers. If you get to our web, I mean, I'll provide my, my contacts and then you can share that subsequently. All, All right. right. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much for coming to have this conversation with us. We've been Thank speaking so to much. Percival Agodo. He's the vice president of the Ghana Academy of Nutrition and Diet Dietetics, uh, lead Gant HD for HL Project Committee, telling us about food marketing and why our children need to stay and eat healthy. So I, I hope you picked a cue or two from this very conversation and then you stick to it to help your children stay healthy.